Jackson has returned three and 11.3 average and Brown has returned five for a 20.4 average and a long of 29. Brown as we look at him is the top receiver bottom receiver and Brown's going to get it at the goal line. Here is his return to the five. He's back to the 10 little step right there. He's going to the sideline and he is hit and dropped down at the 21 yard line. He started up the middle and then cut it back toward the east side here and then went sideline and went from about the 15 to the 20 yard lines where he stepped out first down and 10 for the Bulldogs of Louisiana Tech. So here we go. Zach Champion the quarterback 6 2 2 10 a junior two letters from Alabama 25 attempts uh, make it 49 attempts on 25 completions. And uh, he has hit 50 what is it about 51 percent yeah, 51 percent of his passes for the season. They'll have a single setback. First down and 10. They've got it at their 20, and we're at last underway here tonight at Kyle Field. He's got two wides on the left. He has one at the top, and that single setback is lined up about eight yards behind him, and that guy just got the ball, and that's Patrick Jackson. Jackson gets two on the right side for a two-yard gain. It'll be second down and eight coming up. The running back to his left is Patrick Jackson. He'll take the snap standing at his own 17-yard line. Steps up, he throws, it's a catch, and I think they're going to give him a first down. He's going to be driven back out of bounds, and where are they going to give him a catch? They're going to give him the catch at the 31-yard line. That's a first down catch for Louisiana Tech. They will move the sticks. So it's first down and 10 just across their 30. We've got 13-42. We're playing here in the first quarter of the game tonight with no score. What's more, they'll come out and move champion under center. Jackson, the tailback is the lone man. He's standing at the 22. He just got the ball. They're sprinting out to the right side. He's tripped as he hits the line, falls across the 30-yard line, and may have gotten a yard on that trip forward. The official spot is going to be about the 32, so about a yard gained. It'll be second down. We'll call it nine, a little less than uh, eight, but not quite nine, a little bit more than uh, eight yards and not quite nine with the clock now at 13.05. Second down play. Eight coming up. The ball near the Bulldog 33, Dave. Good penetration that time by Chris Harrington, and he was able to dive and make this tackle for a short gain, as you said, Dave. Less than two yards. Shotgun. Jackson to the right of the quarterback champion. Slot left. Tight end on the right. Short side. Steps up. Throws. Here it goes. And it is almost picked off by Texas A&M. Third down, eight, shotgun, slot left. Drops back, sets up at the 15, steps up by a yard, throws. That's a catch over the middle at the 50, at the 40, and into the sideline they'll go to Eric Newman. That'll be his fifth catch of the season, 27 yards, driven out of bound by Devin Gregg, and they're operating now in Aggie territory with a pass across the middle. Newman caught that on the run and went out at the Aggie 39 and a half yard line. 12-34, first period, no score. Louisiana Tech started this drive at their 20-yard line. It's first and 10 now at the Aggie 39. He moves up under center, tied into the right, open sides a slot to the left. There's a draw. It goes to Jackson. He's going to get about five yards. He's from the line of scrimmage. The 39 falls across the 35, goes to the 34. So Patrick Jackson, another carry. He's carried three now for nine. The second down will be run from the Aggie 34 and a half yard line. Shotgun once more for the quarterback champion. Has it. Throws. It's incomplete. A little slant pattern going from the left side to the right. Tried to hit Earl Griffin, a junior one-letter out of Louisiana. Didn't make the catch. Melvin Bullitt was right there on top of him to make sure he didn't hang on. Come to the line of scrimmage. Facing a third down at the Aggie 34 and a half. And him cheats a couple of men up on the line of scrimmage on the left side. They're moving their running back, Jackson, to the right of the quarterback champion. Here is a throw. He is going long, and that is incomplete. Champion is hit as he lets fly. That ball went way over the head of everybody down around the 10. He was on his backside when that ball finally hit the turf toward that north end zone. Chris Cagle is their punter. He has three inside the 20. They're going to ask him to do that right here. Kicked it very high in the air. It's a wobbly kick. Let's see what it's going to do. It takes a little bounce. It's making its way, and it's killed at the one-yard line. Oh, he did a nice job there. That will be the fourth time this season that he has kicked one and had it killed inside the 20. They're actually going to spot it at the two. The Aggies have it 98 yards away. Jaworski Lane will open up as his tailback. He'll be to the left in a shotgun. He'll take the snap. McGee in the end zone. Play action. McGee rolls to his left. Now he tucks it. He's going to run. 
And he will get out of bounds at the five yard line. And what a block thrown by Irvin Taylor down there on one of the Bulldogs. He just knocked the dog out of Chris Lowry, a junior transfer from Mississippi, knocked his helmet off of him to free McGee out to the five yard line. Pick up of three, it'll be second down and seven. McGee now in the shotgun will take the snap standing at the goal line on second down and seven. The Aggies at their own five looking to throw. He will and he threw it away. There was a screen set up to the right side. They got a flag down. Got a no, tip. I think it got, got I tipped. think it got hit. Looked like he was As trying he to get it, it to Shad Schrader. Uh, we also had Tydrick Riley over in this direction. Needing it all the way out to the Aggie 12 yard line. Shotgun for Stephen McGee. His running back is Javorski Lane. Long count on the signal of the snap. Waiting on it, he has it now, drops back, they're coming, he throws, and he skips it into the turf out about the eight yard line, trying to get that one to Chad Schrader. Had to throw it in a hurry because they were putting the pressure, they brought the house that time on McGee, so that goes incomplete. And now to punt the ball away is Justin Brantley, sophomore, one letter, Seeley, seven kicks, 49-9 average, and a long of 62, their punt return man. Standing back here at about the 45, the kicks away, and it's a good one. Backing up is Freddie Franklin. He takes it at the 31-yard line. Here comes the return. Gets it back to the 45. That goes about you know, 15 yards. I think they're going to spot him at the 46. 60-yard kick by Brantley for an average of 49-9 on seven kicks. His longest of the season has been 62. They have signaled play to resume. They started Louisiana Tech first possession at their 20. This time they start at their 46-yard line. Champion throws. It's a catch. It's across the 50. They're going to give him about the Aggie 47-yard line. It will be a 48-yard line on that catch. Got two for 13 now. They're respotting the ball. They have put it at the Aggie 49-yard line. So, Dave, on both of their possessions, they will run plays on the A&M side of the 50. Time, 10-23. First period, no score. Louisiana Tech's second possession. They got it down inside the 35. They've just gone on the ground, and that will be Franklin, or it's maybe Jackson. Jackson got the carry, and he goes to the 46-yard line. That's going to leave him shy of a first down by a couple. Third down, two coming up. Now the ball at the Aggie 46-yard line. Drops back to throw. Has time. Will throw. Almost picked off by Misi Toupe right about the Aggie 40-yard line. Had it in and out of his hands, and he dropped it. And here is Cagle, who had one killed inside the 20 at the two on his first effort. Here's his kick, oh, wobbly. No. It's a fit. We, we Rough in the punter. Two weeks in a row. Here we go. The kicker, number 10. It's a five-yard penalty. Oh, it's a running in. The gain is sufficient for a first down. All right. Cagle got up and walked off the field on his own. It's first down and 10. Bulldogs at the Aggie 41 after the five yard running into the kicker. There's no score, they just hand it off. It's a backfield handoff and a backfield tackle. Patrick Jackson hit the line and they may give him, they're gonna give him a yard close to the 40. Little second effort there, had him stopped well behind the line, Dave. Second effort will get him close to the 40 yard line. So it's now second down and a long nine coming up for the Bulldogs at the Aggie 40 yard line. Good job by both of those young men. Michael Bennett's out there right now. Also in the lineup for Texas A&M is Red Bryant. Harrington on the other end on the left side. Drops back. Champion throwing. He throws and he is hit as he goes down. And almost on an interception is Devin Gregg, who had two last week in the Army game. That was thrown down around the 20. There was nobody close. And probably that hit on Champion as he threw the ball by Michael Bennett caused that ball to go in a direction he didn't want to throw in. Actually, he had delivered the ball just got rid of it when he was hit. Third down, nine. Bulldogs, Aggie, 40. 8-44, first period, no score. Bulldogs, second possession. Drops back to throw, sets up at the 50. Moving around a little bit, throwing deep, going over the middle. That will be overthrown, goes into the end zone, incomplete. Holland was the intended receiver. Danny Gore at him step for step into the end zone. Both were standing about the goal line when that goes incomplete. But the Aggies hold, and now from the 40-yard line, here's Cagle once more to kick it away. His punt that is going to stand in the record books tonight went down to the two-yard line. Let's see if he can kill this one. It's about the same spot. High wobbly kick again. Here it goes. It's coming down, and they have it. Nope, they weren't alert for it. It hit right between a couple of their defenders down there and uh, had that thing bounce right into the end zone. The Aggies will get it at the 20-yard line. It'll be first down and 10. Texas A&M are going to get a timeout. Bulldog defense got run over by Nebraska in their opening game, and Lincoln, the Huskers, won it. 
and they had 584 yards of total offense. Nebraska closed out the game with 21 points in the fourth quarter. Here we go. Keep it on the ground. We just gave it to Javorski Lane, and Lane got caught behind the line and dropped for a yard loss at the 19-yard line. Was some kind of a delay. It's second down and about 11 coming up for the Aggies. Corey Clark's in that lineup. Cody Wallace has come out over the ball, looking at the offensive line for Texas A&M. Martellus Bennett is the tight end on the left side. Schneider is the tackle here on the right side. It just went to Javorski. He's bounced it outside at the 20. Stiff arms a man, but he can't get away from that man. He's upended with an ankle tackle by Des Abrams, a three-letter guy from Louisiana. And the Aggies now will face third down and seven. At their own 23-yard line, time 7-19. First quarter, no score. Second possession, Texas A&M. Kirk Elder, the guard here on the right side as McGee comes out, has a shotgun running back to his left, but Bennett in motion. He's uh, going to be sacked all the way back inside the 15-yard line. They're going to spot him at the 12. Boy, somebody came free there, Dave, and sacked him back at the 12. We're going to end up facing a fourth down and 18. That is his first sack of the season. He has one tackle behind the line. He is their leading tackler. He's got 16 solos and 21 total. A sophomore from California. There's a good snap. Punts away, and backing up now and waiting for it at the 34-yard line is Franklin. Here comes his return. He is back to the 45, to the 46, 47-yard line. Boy, they're getting it each time. Pretty good field position. Last time about the same spot, Dave, after that punt, which goes 54 yards off the foot, a foot rather, of Justin Brantley. At gamedaycenters.com or see your local Colwell banker for more information. Here we are. It's first down and 10 at the 47. Handoff. They try the right side once more. That will go to Jackson. And Jackson gets uh, about a yard or two. It'll be second down and eight coming up. And for Jackson, that will be his sixth carry of the night. Six carries, 15 yards. Jackson rushed against Nebraska nine times, 46 yards. He's already carried, we say here a minute ago, six times and 15 yards tonight. Second down eight at their 49-yard line. They have tried to throw a screen. It's off the fingertips of the screen man there to the right side, and that's the running back, Jackson. He has three receptions, 28 yards into the game. They'll face third down, and that same eight. Stop the clock, 5-15, first period. No score. Louisiana Tech's got the ball. Tom? Here's third down and eight for Louisiana Tech. They're one of four on their third. Sets his pocket at the 40, steps up, throws. Oh, he had a man wide open, and he underthrew him at the Aggie 42. Would have been enough for a first down to Jonathan Holland, but he just simply underthrew the ball. It's fourth down and eight. Good snap. Cagle waiting on it. Kicks away. Schrader's coming up, calls a fair catch, takes it at the 19-yard line. 19 on the fair catch. There's some more lightning, including a sack of Stephen McGee. Snap it. Play action. Throw. That's Latidrick Riley out to the 23. Just got five yards. It'll be second down and five coming up. Riley just caught that one for six. Second down and four. Line of scrimmage, the Aggie 24-yard line. And he is, again, play action, rolling to this side of the field, being chased, and he is tripped, and he is down. There's a flag down. Intentional grounding, I'm sure. Was he throwing, or did he fumble the ball? At about the 16-yard line, there's a flag down thrown by Randy Crystal, and it may be intentional grounding. Uh, They're going to talk about it. Couldn't tell if he was tripped up around the ankles as he was rolling to this side of the field. There's a player right there, Martellus Bennett. On the play, the ball got back to the line of scrimmage. Coming out to this side is Pierre Brown. Schrader's coming to this side as well. Irvin Taylor, I believe, is the topside receiver. He is. Shotgun McGee. There's his snap. They're coming. And he's going to have to run around. Now he throws. Found a safety valve at the 20. Not going to get the first down. Out of bounds they go at about the 25. I think Goodson was the man over there that caught that ball. It was, was Dave. uh, They wanted the screen pass back to the right side. That was covered up. And Goodson was his safety valve out to the left. But they had that well covered as well. This one's going to be about three yards short of the first. And the Ags will be forced to punt again. And we have uh, managed a total of three yards of total offense on nine plays. They've got 57 on 17 plays. And we're going to punt again. They punts away. They're coming up to meet it at the, oh, they're going to get another flag. Came up to meet the kick. 
And uh, one of the Aggie punt team guys just clobbered the return man. Kick catch, interference, kicking team number 52. Yep. 15 yard penalty. It's a deep snapper. First down. Two special teams problems here, and they get the ball at midfield at the 50. First down and 10, 3.30 to go. No score another possession. Louisiana Tech on the ground. They hit the 50-yard line. They're going to be wrestled down back at the 49. They'll give him the 50. That carry nets nothing. They've got three first downs. The Aggies have not managed a first down. They're one of five on their thirds. A&M's 0 of three on their thirds. Second down, 10, still at midfield. 2.52 to go, first quarter, no score. The Ags and the Bulldogs. Champion in the shotgun, drops back, sets up. He's under pressure, he's hit as he's throwing the ball. Cyril Obazor hit him right between the numbers and that caused the ball to go into the turf at the Aggie 45. Third down, same 10 coming up. Gonna send Josh Wheeler way out to the right side. Holland, their leading receiver, is here on the left side. He is a flanker. They've got a tight end, Dennis Morris on the short side of the formation, shotgun. Champion. From the 42, throws, it's a catch, that's Holland, it's a first down, he's across the 40. Danny Gore was there, missed the tackle, and then had to come up from the backside, did Brock Newton to make sure he didn't go anywhere. That went 13 yards, they got a first down at the Aggie 36 yard line. Newman and Wheeler way out to the right side, Holland here on the near side, under center that time, they'll keep it on the ground. And there's a nice stop, Melvin Bullock got up, caught the running back Jackson around the ankles, and he got about a three yard pickup. It'll be second down and seven. They're now at the Aggie 33 yard line, time 2.07, no score, first period. Period, Louisiana Tech the football. Here they are on second down and about seven at the Aggie 33. Champion steps away, says something to both sides of the line. Still has time on the 25 second clock. Drops back to throw, he does, and that is Holland and a good play, incomplete at the 26 yard line. Defensively, R. Keith Brown hit him at the moment that ball arrived and he couldn't hang on. Incomplete pass. Now third down, same seven, Louisiana Tech, the Aggie 33 yard line, stop the clock a minute 35 first period. Out to the right side goes Newman, coming to this side is Josh Wheeler. Jackson, the running back, will be to the right of champion. We've got a Holland over to the right side as well. There's the snap, he drops back, they're gonna throw a screen, oh, I can't hang on, if he hangs on, they get a first down. Boy, if somebody was isolated, that will be Newman, who had it go right off his hands. And that was totally him. He should have hung on to the ball. If he does, they get a first down, they convert, but instead, fourth down. They have punted three times for an average of 35. Trying to kill it inside the 20 again. I see what this one's going to I don't think this is going to make it. Yep, they're going to go into the end zone. So that time he will bring it out to the 20. Danny Gore was down there chasing it. Cody Wallace is over the ball. Maggie Center will snap it on the count. McGee's got it. Didn't move, stood, threw it, and the Aggies just got, uh, here's Urban Taylor still fighting on his feet across the 30, got a first down to the 32. First, first down of the game for Texas A&M. And you got a big ovation. You got an ovation for that first, first down, and that's Urban Taylor's first catch of the year. Started uh, ULL and Army, 33 career receptions on Taylor, and Taylor is still down after he made that catch, and the training staff will have to come out. That'll stop the clock at 56 seconds. The Aggies just got a first down, their first of the night. All right, the Aggies, a first down and 10. At their own 33-yard line, offset with an eye in the backfield. Had a tight end flanked out, going to run the option. And McGee has put it on the ground. And Louisiana Tech has fallen on it at the 23. He wanted to pitch. They knocked it free. The man that knocked it free fell on it. And the fumble recovery is Quinn Harris, their number one tackler. And that will be his second fumble recovery of the year. And, Dave, they just gave it to Louisiana Tech. At point blank range, that fumble recovery officially marked at the 24 yard line. First and 10, 35 seconds to go, first period, no score. Louisiana Tech now with a real opportunity here as we close out the first 15 minutes of playing time. First down and 10, we almost stepped into the neutral zone. Here is Champion, he's gonna, no, he just handed off and they got a big hole and he's gonna score a touchdown. Right over the middle, that will be Jackson, their running back. Oh, man alive. He got a little break right there. That seam opened up. He goes 24 yards, and they have taken the lead six to nothing with seven seconds to go until the end of the first. 
That comes at the seven second mark on a 24 yard run by Jackson. It's his second touchdown of the season. Ostricker is, now this is uh, Horvadell, and Horvadell just made good on the extra point. All right, seven to nothing. He is into the uh, ball game tonight. Their field goal guy who has kicked two out of three, and he just kicked the extra point to make it seven to nothing. Seven seconds to go, and the first quarter will be over. And the Aggies are down seven nothing to Louisiana Tech. I can wrap up the scoring play after the kickoff. We come back, they have kicked off, and the Aggies, Kerry Franks, will carry it from about the two-yard line out to the Aggie 26 or 27. 22 on the kickoff return. And time when we come back after the timeout because the first period has just come to an end. They start the clock, as you know, now on the kickoff. So it started. We had seven seconds to go, so the first quarter is over. So we need some offense. It's first down and 10, a and the ball at their own 27. Just hand it off, it's a sweep coming back to the left side uh, to Goodson and there's that a flag down and Goodson is dropped back at the line of scrimmage. Looked like a, uh, somebody threw something off this sideline. It was a flag that never unfurled. And it's a hold against Texas A&M. Clock continues to work, it's 14.45. Second period, the Aggies trail 7-0. Jackson got a run of 24 yards on a first down and 10 for their last play of the first period. Out of an eye, here is McGee, starts to run the option. Now he steps up, he's throwing, he's got a man, that's wide open with Tyreek Riley. Ran out of bounds, and the Aggies got it across the 40 to the 43-yard line. Riley caught it on the run, knocked out of bounds after a 27-yard pickup. Two catches, 32 yards on LaTydrick. It is first down and 10. The Aggies set their 43, running backs lined up either side of McGee, oh, he just moved. That was Javorski Lane. And I don't know, it looked like that McGee expected the ball to come back, and it didn't. Uh, it looked like the center moved to me. It's a five-yard penalty. It remains first down. Yeah, it was called on the center. Well, here's first down. Clock 14-25, second period, 7-0 Louisiana Tech. In the shotgun, McGee runs the option, and they were all over that. We've just taken a loss back inside. They're going to give him the 30-yard line. The pitch coming to this side went nowhere to Goodson, and all the way back to the 30 we go. We just lost about eight on that one. All right, here's second down. Just lost on that one. We'll look at total offense here in a minute after this play. McGee in the shotgun. Jaworski Lane to his right. Wants to throw. He does. It's a catch. He got it across the 40 to the 41-yard line. Ball is caught by Pierre Brown. Brown on the catch at the 41. It'll come up third down and about 11 for the Aggies. Got 12 of it of the 23 that they needed. That's the third reception of the season. Three now and 25 yards for the year for Kerry Franks. One, two, three, four Aggies have caught passes tonight. Here's the third down and about 11. They need the 47-yard line on the Bulldog side. He just threw it away. Everything covered, and he just threw it into the sideline, being forced over toward the sideline, the far sideline, at about the 30-yard line. He just had to dump it off so we don't convert. This will be Freddie Franklin. Good snap, little pressure up the middle. Punts a good one. Coming up to take it at the, fumbled it. Drops all the way back to the five, starts his return. The Aggies are gonna drop him back at the five-yard line. Got all the way over there and caught him at the five and dropped him after he fumbled the ball. Brock Newton, that's a 50, is that 51 or 57? 51, 51 yards on the uh, punt by Brantley. We're gonna get a timeout, but we're gonna keep it right here as the Aggies will see Louisiana Tech set up shop. This is their worst start of the night. They are gonna have it first down and 10, Dave, at their own five yard line. They lead in this game seven to nothing with 12.41 to go in the second quarter. Shotgun, Bulldogs, champion at the goal line, drops back into his end zone, pumps once, throws as he's hit, he's going sideline, and he throws that one into their bench, all the way out to about the 45. Couple of Aggies there chasing it, but it's incomplete. He was under a lot of pressure as he got rid of that ball, second down, 10. The Bulldogs with the ball at their own five, 95 yards away. They have put Irvin Taylor on a cart 
And they're taking him to the locker room. He's got a lot of ice on his right ankle or that right leg. Second down, 10. Champion, shotgun. Here's a draw, and he's tripped up on the backfield as he gave the ball to Jack.